All right, so this is, this is it. I've kind of done the stop motion. That's gonna be there by itself. We're gonna do some kind of picture in picture later. So stick around at the end of this promotion and I'll explain to you how I made this entire thing. Oh, hey guys. I'm excited to tell you about our new show, Louisiana River Builds. Come along with me and my crew through the waterways of Louisiana as we face the challenges of restoring these unique family cabins in places where sometimes there are no roads. Our builds take a little different perspective. We bring our flavor of excitement and creativity to our work, but one thing's for sure, we know how to have a great time. I'm Hampton Rutland. Tune in to the DIY Network for Louisiana River Builds. So the network asked us to shoot a promo for the TV show. They're going to re-air the pilot. Uh, they were, they thought it performed well, uh, and so they actually reached out and asked me to do like a stop motion promo, uh, which I thought was very cool, very flattering. Um, and so we're going to do that. Now, I've had all of this. Uh, this was actually a framed out uh uh, in the pilot, you can see in the bathroom, this was framed out over the window next to the toilet. But they painted it this this white color and I didn't like that. I wanted it to be, you know, that raw pine that it ended up being. Uh, and so we pulled that off and I've had this and I have a bunch of leftover backsplash. Uh, and so I was always wanting to make like a picture frame and kind of just like a piece of reclaimed artwork from the show that I could keep. So, I just catched a lizard. You caught a lizard? I recorded all that. We'll get to show them. Okay. What kind of lizard was it? Yeah, maybe a gorilla. Oh. That's okay. He's an action lizard. Okay, so what we're going to do is kind of make a little piece of artwork out of all that, what was left of the backsplash. All right, so step one is I went to Lowe's. It's gray. Yeah, but we're going to do it in stop motion. Uh, sort of, I'm going to try something new with I'm Final Cut Pro. So we're making the frame. I'm going to paint up the frame tonight and then tomorrow we'll get into setting up the way we do stop motion. Uh, and so it'll be kind of like a tutorial on how to make a reclaimed wood piece of artwork slash how to um, use Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so here we go. Oh, yeah, nice frame. Yeah, so it's the next morning and we need to get started, but Henry's not gonna let us do anything until we make your bank, right? Mm -hmm. It's a bank for money so I don't have to use a real bank. Quarter. Quarter. Yeah. Penny. Dimes. How'd you know the dime went there? Huh? I just knew, is this a... Can you read? No, is this a nickel? Yeah, it's a nickel. The sun's coming up behind us. This paint is dry. And so what I gotta do is turn this to frame it up. Gotta go to the back, to the shop back there. Cut this up so it'll frame. And then I can prop it up and use it like you saw. Where's Henry, Lola? He's a little wall that, uh, that my daddy made. Come on. Yeah, I know, I know, you're excited. All right, we're gonna take a little trip to the back. Henry. Hang on, we're gonna go get Henry, okay? Yo! What you waiting on, bro? Never! Oh, there's a nice car that was It's a little cold. It's a little cold right now. English. It doesn't bother me. I love the cold. Yeah. English people love the cold. Yeah, English people love the cold. Mm. Alright, look, so we gotta put the uh, the backsplash material in here, but you need a backing, right? So I found this bigger piece. Uh, we draw a line here, and we're, I'm gonna cut that out. And then we just tack it on there, and there's our back. Still cold, man? All right, let's go inside and get you uh, something to warm up on. Perfect. 
Yeah, this is the this is what I had like the day before we started shooting. And I went to Lowe's and bought those little pieces of wood and some of those little connectors and made what we call lamp wood. There's all these little backsplash pieces that are gonna go in here. All right, so let's get a little, I'm gonna get a little glue, a little bit of wood glue. And we'll use my favorite tool in the arsenal. This guy. Oh, and the battery's dead. Something DeWalt came up with, which is really cool. See, this this little nailer, battery powered nailer, uses this 18 volt lead battery. DeWalt came up with an adapter, so you can use the 20 volt series and stick it in there, and now the thing works, hopefully. Get you a jacket. We never am a hammer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> so we're all glued up. Just want to hide the little marks there. All right, so here's we got our frame. It's all glued up. We've got our backsplash pieces here, and now we're just gonna take them from here, process them, and make them fit okay. in there like that. So we're gonna preset it. So that we can, um, you know, easily fit in place for stop motion. You don't have to do all the cutting. You pre-cut it. You know how it's going to fit in, just like I did for that one scene in the in the shop where the wood climbed up the wall. It already cut it to shape, and so I could just put it up. All right, we had to rip the last two pieces. Now they fit in, now it's made. So, we'll just have to remember the order they're put in there and we can start doing stop motion. Okay, so for the purposes of stop motion animation, sometimes less is more. You can actually have too much stuff happening at one time. What I'm gonna do is limit the action to this lower section. Plus, Lampton is only tall enough to kind of support this lower section. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this in, put it up so that just this part is what's animated, as you saw. Alright, so I'm shooting this stop motion sequence now. We've got this camera set where it needs to be because i got to shoot video with me here. And I'm going to kind of do a picture in picture of this action. So that's the key to this, is just you move it. bit by bit, frame by frame, and go back and take a picture. It's pretty tedious, as you can see. All right, so the last step in the puzzle is um, putting it all together. So this is my timeline. And so when we get to the stop motion, you can see this this is the stop motion oh, okay. section. This is how it was really shot. You can see he wasn't moving at all. And then when I roll up to the stop motion part, this is all that you see of the stop motion. So I kind of made a little window cut out where I just sort of superimposed this part onto this part and it works. So another way to look at that is, you can just pick it up and move it over here. And obviously that wouldn't make any sense. So you want to make sure but let's try it like that. So you would see, see it playing there. That wouldn't, that would just be terrible. So you put it where it's supposed to be and that's the whole deal. All right, so I promise the next video that's coming up is the uh, Wagoneer video. In fact, I've got the whole table set up. Uh, thanks for sticking around for this whole long one. I know it was a little bit different, but uh, we'll see you next time.